everybody it's uh, Saturday morning and it's the day I'm taking stuff to the landfill the dump so I gotta put my special shoes on so that if uh, the dump has any well I guess dump in it trash I mean not if obviously it's gonna have trash so I'm taking my in-laws truck there I'm gonna there's like dust on here there can you see me better anyway so I'm headed over there and uh, we'll see today's like a free day to take stuff to the landfill you have to have your uh, a city water bill or utility bill and uh, you show it to them and they let you do free landfill day so anyway we're gonna head out there see uh, we're gonna take uh, some bags of trash There's some squirrels like freaking out. Are they courting? Maybe they're dating. This is one of their dates. Animals are weird. All right, so I got the truck and uh, or seven bags. I thought I had nine, but there's uh, seven bags of trash. And uh, I was last weekend. Last weekend I cleaned out the house. I'll grab. One while I'm talking. I cleaned out the house, and uh, it's so weird when you're downsizing, because you know you think you get all rid of all the trash, and then you start downsizing again, and you get even more trash. And uh, so it's like. It's like you can never get rid of it's like almost like it almost feels like you never get rid of all your trash and then it's like where did all this where that one's heavy hold on you know so you're thinking where did i get all this trash where was it in my house it was like hidden in little nooks and crannies so anyway i'm going to lift some of these heavy ones this here is uh my in-laws little nissan truck it's uh Really neat little truck. So I got all the trash picked up, or all the trash in the in the truck, and we're ready to go. So let's get on the road. Hey, we're on our way to the landfill. Uh, what's really nice about the town I live in is everything is uh, pretty close. So it's only about a 10, 15 minute drive. Um, like I said before, it's a free week. I think it's a free week, but I know today's supposed to be free, and uh, so hopefully there's not a lot of people there. Um, I had to stop on the way there because I thought that the bags were heavy enough to keep themselves in the tray, the truck bed, but a couple of them were kind of flapping around. I don't think they would have flown out, but maybe stuff in them would have fly, flown out. So uh, the in-laws had some, uh, uh, what are they called, uh, the elastic cords, and uh, so I was able to tie put a little X and tie them down so right now they're kind of flapping but nothing should come out so anyway it'll be interesting to see if there's a lot of people at the uh, landfill uh, this morning I was doing some studying um, on YouTube channels and things like that and I didn't know if anybody any of the RVers that watch this channel would think uh, you're thinking about creating a YouTube channel but uh, it was it was like it's called YouTube Academy and it kind of teaches you how to grow your audience and and uh, it was interesting how the, they're saying that subscribers bring more of an audience so you want to work on creating good content and then encouraging people to subscribe you want them to so that they get notified whenever you get any uh, put out a video and um, subscribers I guess have a tendency to watch more of your videos and watch your videos longer because the fact that they've subscribed uh, is a, means that they are a fan of you so they're more likely to watch more of your videos and you get more what's called watch time where watch time is where uh, how long they watch the videos and apparently the way YouTube ranks everything um, the more watch time you have uh, the more higher your videos and your channel ranks so anyway I thought that was pretty neat so I'm going to try to implement some of that into my videos. I don't know how, but it's good to learn. Holy moly! We are pulling in 
to the landfill now and there is a huge line. So we're at the big line at the Osage landfill. What really sucks is that it looks like they're weighing people. I don't know if it's because maybe what the guy brought was huge, but normally when I come, they just um, have you go up on the little weigh thing and they don't even weigh you, just pay the, the minimum load price or the minimum price to put uh, throw stuff away. But maybe they're doing it like this because uh, for statistics or recording or whatnot. But they only have one lane. So the one lane weighs you when you get here. Then it weighs you when you leave. And I'm imagining, let's see, I'm, I'm going to count how many trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 trucks and probably about half of them have trailers full of trash so this is going to be a while in the last five minutes i think we've moved about four spaces this is not fun but it has to be done we're moving. You can see the big bulldozer working. All right, well that ended up not taking very long at all. And uh, I'm having the way out, so I already threw my stuff away. And they have that little convenient little uh, canisters down here where we could do it. So I'm going to way out. So we'll see how this goes. All these people. Look at all these people waiting to dump their stuff. Wow.